a troubling incident at a Nashville airport. A woman with a ticket breezing past security, boarding a Delta plane. By the time airport officials actually caught up to her, she was in her seat. Thankfully, she was arrested and now faces charges. Uh, Mark, especially given the global context in mm -hmm. which we discuss this, just how much egg is on the face of the TSA here? A lot. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, you cannot breach security, number one. And then, frankly, she walked onto the plane without a ticket and took a seat in the back of the plane. Which this, I, which I feel lady, like right? would be harder to a degree since there are, you know, any number of people at various right. security checkpoints. But at that door, two for one, usually. Yeah, but think about it. The TSA, you can't get through the metal detectors, everything else, without going through. You got you to show ID and everything. Didn't mm -hmm. have ID. Didn't have a ticket. Got through somehow and then got through at the gate because there was some confusion at the gate as they were rebooking passengers. And this is not the first time. Other folks have done this and been able to walk onto planes, walk through security. It's very rare. But I, I think we have to back up and say, are mistakes going to get made? Yes. Are most of them going to be harmless? This lady seems a little crazy because she says faith is her ID and her ticket. So so, you know, let, let's think about that. Now, what we really have to worry about is what we saw in Brussels. You don't need a ticket. You don't need ID to access points and do some serious harm. And that's why you see at the New York airports and other airports, you see the police out on the perimeter looking at cars, seeing things that are possibly suspect. And then what we have to count on is like that taxi driver in Brussels being proactive if they see something like that going down to try to stop that. And that's what we have to bank on because if we want freedom and liberty, we are going to sacrifice things like this happening at different times. That's the issue. A lot of discussion this week then about the uh, theoretically moving security perimeters back to move them, if nothing else, from the terminal. but. At some point, people are lining up and thus are targets. Correct. And you know what? If, so, so you do that, what happens? We, we talked before the segment. You, you, you show up at a subway station. You show up at a hotel in New York City. You go to an event where people are getting off a train to attend an event or buses are rolling up at an attraction. I mean, at the end of the day, you can't stop it in terms of just policing it. We have to have intelligence and other things. They're going to give us the insights to stop these things before they get to the perimeter, before we have to worry about hitting a soft target. Meanwhile, I should just take faith is my ID off my yeah, list. Yeah, you, you, want, you want to lose that. That's, that yes, will not work. Won't work. Uh, that, that, the cat's out of the bag on that one. Mark Murphy, we appreciate <laughs> Thank it. Thank you.